All right, welcome back. Um, I thought I would uh, uh, do a quick little video, hopefully quick little video, on uh, this a wonderful program. I I did a little research um, uh, looking for a graphical um, sort of an interface uh, rather than command line interface because there's a lot of um, uh, you can type a bunch of commands. You can and and the terminal in Linux will bring up. You know, it'll show you your temps, it'll show you your frequencies, it'll show you all kinds of, you know, these things. Um, but I want a graphical interface. I want to see what they, what, what I'm, you know, what I'm doing. I don't, I don't like command line. If I can avoid command line through terminal, I'll avoid it at all costs. Um, but there are some times you can't avoid it. Uh, this is kind of one of them. You still have to install it using command line. It's not in the repository. It, it's not in, um under menu and under uh, the software manager. It's, it's, you will not find it in here. At least I don't think so. Um, let me do a quick little search, but I doubt it's going to be in here. It is. I'll be darned. Look at that. All right. So apparently you can now get core control through the, uh, the software manager, which is really good. Um, if you don't like messing with uh, command lines through the terminal, there it is. Uh, Go to your software manager, type it in, double click it, it install it. Of course, I have launch because it's already installed. Um, you can install it there. That's great. Uh, if you want to use terminal, that you can find the commands under gitlab.com, core control slash core control. Um, you can get all the files here. I don't like doing that. I don't usually use GitHub or anything like that. Um, but there's some really good information on how to use it here. Different versions of Linux you can install it on, you know, Fedora, Arch Linux. Of course, I'm using Ubuntu, so I just use these commands when I installed it. Um, but, you know, read through it. But basically what it is, is that it's a wonderful program that lets you control uh, different aspects of your GPU and your CPU. Also, just for monitoring purposes, which is basically all I use it for. Um but here it is, core control. Um, I have all of the check boxes unchecked because I don't, I don't look at the um, all the fancy colorful lines and things. I just look at the numbers. Um, but that's, of course, that's my GPU, the Radeon RX 570, um, and I have all my settings set up a certain way. Uh, same thing goes for my CPU, the uh, Ryzen 5 3600. Um, there we go. By default, I believe it sets everything to, uh, do not control frequency governor performance. I have mine set to performance because, um, because I don't like conservative and I believe, or it's either conservative or on demand that it defaults to. If it's on demand, then the computer basically will, it will set your levels or your numbers to whatever it thinks you want it to be or what it thinks you need it to be at the time. So if you're playing a game in theory, it will set it to performance for you. If you're not using it for gaming and it's not under heavy load, it will set it to, you know, power save or conservative. Um, I find, at least before using core control, when I would type in the commands to bring up the numbers and see them individually, I found that it wasn't switching amongst all those. I never even saw it switch to performance. It was always underpowering my CPU and my GPU. So this program allows you to do all these things. Um, and it's, a, at least by watching it while I'm gaming, it seems to be more reliable than uh, letting the computer choose for you. So, um, of course, I have my set to performance. Um on both of them. Uh, I do admit, I think on my Radeon, I have it set to advanced custom. Um, and I maxed out my GPU and my memory. Um, my power limit in wattage, I have it maxed to 120, but I don't think I've ever actually seen that reach 120. I, I feel like that's probably optimistic. Um, I feel like at the most I've seen it is around 40 or 50 watts, I think. Um, and that could be also another problem with uh, with Linux 
and the Linux drivers for this graphics card. Um, ventilation I have set to automatic, but I can I can set it to fixed or I can set up a curve for it. Um, I don't mess with these because I find I usually do more harm than good. And my fan, my temperatures are usually pretty good to begin with, so I don't mess around with setting up curves and things. You can also set it to do not control. Um, I don't know what that does, so I, I set it to automatic. I'm used to fan, um, speed fan as well under Windows. So when I when I ran Windows uh, speed fan, I would set my own curves and uh, and it, for my for my part it worked quite well. Um, but in this program, I'm just setting it to automatic. Uh, AMD the Ryzen doesn't have anything about that, so I I, I just leave it alone. Um, and of course, there's a system tab down here at the bottom. Click that; it just tells you what you have. What you know, if you want to find out what your current um, graphics driver is, which for an AMD it's Mesa version 22.2.0, tells you your kernel version, um, all kinds of neat information about your GPU as well as your CPU. You click CPU, you can see um, you can see all your cache numbers, you can see model, uh, all kinds of neat things like that. So I, I think this is a fantastic program. Um, again, I don't know everything about it. You can also uh, turn it on and off if you don't, you know, I don't know why you would do that. Um, now I set up, oh, unapplied settings, okay, okay. I set up my own profile for American Truck Simulator. Um, I don't play too many other games, but I think, I think you click. Okay, yeah. So you can, uh, you click it, clone it, or export, and you can create your own profiles for different games. Um, but I keep my global profile is pretty much the same as my American Truck Simulator profile. Um, Okay, yeah, so I did set my uh, my global profile for uh, my GPU to automatic under performance, but uh, under ATS, it's set to advanced. I don't know really why I did that. Uh, but you can set your own profiles for games, and it's I, honestly, it's been fantastic. I think you create a profile by clicking plus. Yes, you do. Okay. Um, again, I've only used it a few times to set up American Truck. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, you know... Give it a try, you know, at least for the very, uh, just for monitoring, it's useful. Um, but if you can set it up to, to make your system run a little better, there you go. Um, again, quick video. I just wanted to go over this a little bit. Um, you know, I, I'm not the best at, at reviewing. I'm certainly not the best at tech. Uh, but I use it. I like it. Um, and as far as I know, it's the only program out there of its type at the moment. So, you know, if you're a Linux user, Ubuntu specifically, but, or, or Mint, which is, you know, basically Ubuntu, um, there's other versions that are supported. So I think it's worth looking at. Um, and of course, now you can get it under the software manager. You don't have to type in command line if that scares you. Um, I think that's it. And again, thanks for watching.